Hi, in this guide I'll show you how to create a Windows XP install with Service Pack 3 and the latest hot fixing, hot fixes included. First of all, go to computerforums.org and scroll halfway down the site until you get to the computer articles category. Now click on software articles and scroll down a bit and there's a topic called how to create a Windows XP install CD with Service Pack 3 plus latest hotfixes included. If you can't find the document in the right hand side there's a search feature just use that search to find the document. At the top of the document there's a few things you need. First of all you need the physical Windows XP install CD Next you need a program called Enlite and it's got a download link there. We need the Windows XP Service Pack 3 file. Uh, again I've given you a link there to download it. And here there's an archive that I've found that includes a lot of uh, post Service Pack 3 hotfixes included in that one file. So if you download the Enlite program and install it on your machine. And on the root of your C drive, create a, a folder called WinXP. Then put the Windows XP CD ROM drive into your CD ROM, click on it, and then copy all of the files like that. Right click copy, go up to your C WinXP folder and then just right click and paste. I've done this process already so all the files are there. Alright, if you load this Enlight program uh, on the first screen click next here, browse to C WinXP, it's in there already click next. This is going to scan that folder for the files and you can see it's the professional version, it's got service pack 0. Click next and next again. Right here we want to include service pack so click that and it will go green on the left hand side. We want hot fixes so select the hot fixes. Down the bottom we want this bootable ISO. Click next, uh, do select, uh, make sure you've downloaded the service pack free, uh, link on the site here, and also download this file at the same time and save it into the same folder. Uh, so in the Enlight program just click on select and browse to the service pack free file which is this one now going to scan the file make sure that it looks okay Okay, we've got a message here saying it's been added successfully, so just OK. And up the top here it says Windows XP Professional. It should pop up saying Service Pack 3 in a minute. There we go, Service Pack 3. Now ready to go onto the next page, so click Next. Hot Fixes, click on Insert. Uh, don't unzip this file, leave it as a zip file and double click on it. If you want to know what fixes are included on there, you can either ex ex extract the file or on this link there will be a list of hot fixes in there that's included in the file. If you want to add any additional hot fixes, you can click on insert, download them from the Microsoft website and then just add them in here one by one and they will pop up in this list. Click on next 
Uh, do you want to start the process? Yes. This is now going to compile the Windows XP install CD with the service pack free and the hotfixes. When the next button is available, just click next because the process is finished. Okay, what this screen is going to do, uh, let me just click on make click on make ISO and save the ISO file to your desktop. What this is going to do, this is going to make a file that you can burn onto your CD.